Hey, it's me again. Uh, before we get started tonight, it gets dark, and you can't see what we're doing real good. You can just see the results. I'm gonna show you a little bit about what we're using here. All right. I like a good whippy action rod, right? You want one that's really gonna load that blank. Um, I like throwing a, uh, I got a Skeet Reese here, jerkbait topwater. The name says it all right there. Six, I think it's six, eight. Good whippy action. I like my Corrado, my Calcutta, 50. I've got an oversized handle on it, which gives me a little bit more bite. The good slow retrieve is what you want. You want that just annoying cadence that them wall I just slap up. Um, here I have a ghost rod that's new for this year. Same action, two different lures. I like throwing the um, pencil popper. <laughs> a lot of people throw cotton cordell. I bought this plug by mistake like 15 years ago. Somebody said, oh, you gotta buy the red fins. And that was the plug I bought. Of course, it was a different color. But I wore them out that night, and I thought, wow, they're really right. And then I fished it for like three years before finally somebody told me, oh, no, you're fishing the wrong plug. I said, I think you're fishing the wrong plug. But that's what I like to throw, and I've caught some big whoppers on it. Uh, you just, once it hits the water, it is just a steady cadence, and you never stop. And it's all night long. But anyway, those are the two rods that I like using. I like a good whippy action. Uh, you'll see by some of the videos, I've got some stripers in 30, 40 pound range. What size line am I using? Bass Pro Shops, 10 pound clear blue. That's all you need. That's what the rod does. You just hold that rod and let them, if them stripers bust it, you just let them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and retie since I didn't I didn't fish in a while. I'll show you the knot I like to tie. It's just a straight old polymer knot. Now let me show you a little trick that we've been doing. And I did check with the regulations and we're all legal. But we noticed that on some nights, them walleye really bite good. One blow up, pam, they got it. Suck in, got it. Then there's some nights you come out here and you get blow up and you get blow up and you get blow up but no no bites no you know sometimes that's weird i've had nights where you'll literally have 10 blow ups and have eight fish on three cranks into the retrieve and they just pull right off and man i got fed up with that so we do a lot of fishing at the beach and at the beach you have to use what's called a kale or a circle hook so I got an idea that that would be a great idea. So what I do is I hook me a split clip. I get me some heat shrink tubing and shrink it down over that heat clip. And then I pop it onto that third hook right here. And I ride it down, right? So when they come up, short strike it, boom. Huh. All right, well that's what we like to use. You've seen the gear. Now let's see if we can get dark and we'll go out here and catch this one. I'm waiting on my brother-in-law. He's gonna come down here with me tonight. But that's what we throw out there on Teleco. But they like that chartreuse. With a triple stick. With the stinger, stinger. Looks like something out of saw when you're throwing it, but boy, it does work. All right, we'll see you here in a little bit. 